A couple of years ago, the guys at Yes changed the game. They shrunk down a board, added loads of width, put a crazy side cut on it, and they call it the 420. That board's been super popular. I tested it a year or so ago myself. You can watch that video if you like, and I loved it. Uh, this year, they've introduced a new one along similar-ish lines. This one's called the 2020. Now, the main difference is that the 2020 is a true twin shape, whereas the 420 is directional. In the middle, you've got regular camber between your feet, but the big thing about this board is the tip and the tail. Aside from the fact that it's got a bit of a strange shape to it and is super wide, it's got a 3D construction. They call it a hull. If you look right down it, it's like a spoon. It's literally concaved, so it's curved up at the nose and tail there. And the idea of that is that it's gonna float incredibly well in powder. It's gonna have kind of like boat qualities to it actually. And that's possibly, I mean, I may be making this up, but I know that these guys make their boards in Dubai at a factory that also produces a lot of wakeboards. And I got a suspicion that they've taken a bit of the knowledge from that side of the business and they've applied it to this snowboard. Whether that's true or not, what I do know is this thing floats. Just like with the 420, you want to ride this board a little bit shorter. So in this version of the 2020 is the uh, 147. Um, that is really short for a guy like me. I'd normally be looking at around a 158. I've never known a board uh, be so easy to get face shots on. These weird shaped nose and tail just seems to kick up so much snow. Like I was blind half the time, but it's a nice kind of blind. In a straight line, it just seems to sort of surf over the lumps and bumps. I was saying to the guys that I was with, if I was gonna come up with a name for it, I'd have called it the magic carpet. That's the kind of vibe I had. It was really like flying more than it was like uh, regular carving. This is probably the only powder board I've ever ridden where I felt like, you know what, I could take on that powder face going backwards pretty much as easily as I can ride switch on a normal slope. How about on the piste? Well, I'm not gonna lie, it feels a little bit weird having such a short board under your feet, but with that side cut and with the camber, actually I found it could carve pretty well. The other thing that I found with this was that the nose and the tail, that weird spoon shape, you could get some quite bizarre butters going on. I've got a feeling that these guys won't be the only people doing these 3D hull kind of shapes. I could see this kind of board being marketed by all the other brands pretty soon. So keep an eye out for it. If you get a chance, give it a ride. Maybe even just take a punt and buy it. This is the Yes 2020.